Welcome back, ladies. Today we are going to be doing Pilates with the stability ball. So all you need for this workout today is a mat and a stability ball, and let's get started. So we are gonna start by laying on our back and you're gonna put your feet on top of that stability ball. So kind of like in a tabletop position, the knees are directly over the hips, ball can be all the way up against those thighs. And we're gonna start with a few little ab curls. So hands can come behind your head and you're gonna exhale, lift your head and your chest up, keep your belly nice and flat, and then inhale, lower back down. Good, exhale, lift, and inhale, lower, good. So the goal here is to keep your stability ball nice and steady. Good, lift, and lower, good, exhale, lift. Elbows stay nice and wide. Make sure you're not pulling on the neck. It's just there for support. Good, two more here, and then we're gonna add a little twist and get those obliques fired up. Good, so now you're gonna lift up and come to the right. So you're gonna bring your left rib towards your right hip, lower it down, and then switch. Good, so remember, keep pulling the belly in. You don't wanna let it pooch out as you come up and twist. Good, so we're gonna just do five on each side. So just three more on each side. Nice job, ladies. Just warming everything up. Good, one more each side. Good, and lower it down. And we're just gonna get right into it. So grab the ball with your hands and we're gonna come right into our five series here. So you're gonna hold the ball straight up towards the ceiling. Remember, relax your shoulders here. It's gonna be really easy to let those shoulders come up towards your ears. So keep them away from the ears, keep them relaxed as much as you can. And remember, always take a break if you need it. So legs are gonna come up to tabletop position. And you're gonna lift your head and your chest up. So you're in a little ab curl. The ball is over your shins. Now you're gonna inhale, reach arms and legs out. Exhale, pull it back in. So this is your double leg stretch here. Exhale, pull in. Good, inhale, reach. And exhale, pull in. Now remember, again, keep the belly pulled in. Always pull that navel towards your spine. And relax the head and the neck and the shoulders as much as possible. If you need to, head can always come down to the mat. That's totally an option. Good, let's do three more. Three. And two. Last one, good, hold it here. Now single leg stretch, extend your left leg out and switch. You're just holding that ball just above those knees and switch. So it's just a little bit of an added challenge here. And as we go into our crisscross soon, you'll see what's coming up next, good. Good, three, exhale as you extend that leg, two, and one. So you're gonna bring that right knee in towards the chest, Rotate over, these are killer. And then you're gonna lift the ball up and over as you switch. Up and over and switch. So the ball is towards the same side as the knee that is in towards your chest. It can be a little bit tricky here. Good, switch and switch. We're gonna do a few extra reps on this one. We're gonna do 10 on each side because these are so dang good. And switch. And switch. Can we just have four more each side? You can do it, ladies. Again, you can always lower your head down in the middle if you need to. Always an option. Two, almost done. Last one, and we get a little rest after that one. Whew, I know you're feeling it, I'm feeling it, but it's, it's a good feeling. All right, we're gonna come into scissors now. So you're gonna lift the legs straight up towards the ceiling and you're gonna push that ball in towards the legs. Lower the left leg down and then switch and switch. So it comes up to meet the ball and switch. Good, just five on each side for this one. Switch, switch, and switch. Two more each side, keep those legs nice and straight. Again, you can always lower the head if you need to. Last one, good, take a quick rest. And the next one is super killer. So think scissors and crisscross all together in one. So we're gonna be twisting scissors. So legs up towards the ceiling, right leg is up, left leg lowers down, you're twisting to the right, come up and switch. Just five on each side. 
side because these are killer. Good, nice job ladies. Switch, legs stay nice and straight. Keep breathing, keep pulling that belly in. Two more each side. Last one. Ooh, and take a quick rest. You're gonna put that ball between the legs. You have a few options here. I'm gonna keep my head down, that's an option. Um, if you are a little bit more advanced, you can always bring your hands behind your head and lift your head up. Otherwise, head stays down, arms are gonna go straight towards your side and you're gonna extend the ball straight up towards the ceiling with those legs. Lower down and lift. Lower down and lift. Pull your belly in nice and tight. So you may notice that you can't go as far down with your legs as you normally do without the ball. That ball adds a little bit of extra resistance. So you wanna make sure that you only go as low as you can without losing that engagement in those abdominal muscles. Here's three. Ooh, I'm shaking. Two and one. And bend those knees. Hug them in towards the chest. And we're going into what I like to call the ball pass. So you're going to do the same thing with the legs. Pass it into the arms. So legs are straight up. You're gonna lift up. Hold it with the hands. Lower the legs, lower the arms. Come up and switch. Good, and switch. So 10 total, five passes. Good. Nice job, ladies. We just have three. Ooh, you can do it. Two. And one. Oh my gosh, my abs are on fire. Take a quick rest, hug those knees in towards the chest, roll side to side, massage out your spine just a little bit. All right, so roll yourself up, and we are going to do a little bit of leg exercises here. So, start on your left side, and you are going to extend that left leg out nice and straight. So, your right hand is on the floor, your right side is going over that ball, and your right knee is on the mat, so it's bent, Knees on the floor to help you stay nice and stable. Left leg is out straight and you're gonna lift up and lower it down. Good, lift and lower. If you've done my total body stability ball workout, this is in it and you already know that these are killer. Your hips and your booty are gonna be screaming in about three seconds. Good, so lift, get it just about parallel to the floor. It doesn't need to go much higher than that. You're gonna feel it immediately in that side. You don't need much for this workout, or these ex this exercise here. Good, two, one, and we're going into little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, little circles in each direction. So about the size of a dinner plate, you don't need to make them that big. Stay steady, keep your abs pulled in tight. Breathe through it, it's almost done. Good, one more in this direction and reverse it. Good, reverse, breathe, in through your nose, out through your mouth. We just have five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. But it is good, all right, other side. So, left hand comes onto the mat, left side body is on that ball, left knee is on the floor, right leg is extended all the way out. And you're gonna lift that top leg and lower. Lift and lower. And the second side is always the worst. It hurts basically right as you start, but it's a good hurt. Good, lift and lift. So just 10. Remember, there's always a printable, almost always a printable. So I will include a link for that down below. So make sure you grab that so you can do this workout on the go. Good, one more, hold it, pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and circle. So lift it back up. Again, the size of the dinner plate. One direction and then the other. So 10 circles each direction. So this is a really great um, workout to do if you're traveling or something. If you're at a hotel, they almost always have stability balls. Let's reverse directions. So it's perfect for you that travel or if you wanna do this at home, stability balls are really inexpensive so you can grab them for home. Three. Two and one. 
Ooh. My booty and my hips are on fire. All right, so let's back it up a little bit. We're gonna do push-ups on the ball. So these are challenging. If you can't do push-ups on the ball, feel free to do them on the mat. Do them on your knees if you need to. Always an option. You can work your way up by just doing a plank on the ball with us. Either way, let's roll over that ball. And the lower the ball is on your legs, the more challenging it will be. So you wanna just make sure it's either on your thighs, all the way on your shins, or all the way down on your toes. So hands directly under those shoulders. Elbows are gonna stay nice and narrow. That's our Pilates style push-up. So you're gonna lower it down and push. Just 10, lower and lift. Good, abs pulled tight. Keeping those shoulders right over those hands. Just four more. You got it, ladies. Almost done. One more. Good. And then roll yourself back. Walk those hands back. Let's do a little bit of a child's pose here. Just take a little stretch. Sit those hips back. Roll that ball forward. And then keep your right hand on the ball and extend your left leg underneath as if you're threading a needle. You'll stretch through those shoulders. It should feel really good. Come back and switch. Good, and let's just do one more exercise just for good measure. We're gonna get the lower back a little bit. So, you're gonna come back over that stability ball, tuck those toes in towards the mat, and then you're going to lift and lower. So lift and lower. It's much easier if you have your feet up against a wall. You might be able to get a little bit higher into your extension. Otherwise, your feet may slip just a little bit. Mine are slipping just a teeny bit. Good. Lift. Let's just do three more. And one more. Nice job, ladies. And lower it down. Take a stretch over that ball. And you are all finished. Good. Awesome, we just did a full body workout on the stability ball, about 15 minutes. You ladies are awesome. Make sure you check in with me on the community on Facebook. There's a link down below if you wanna join us. You ladies inspire me every single day, so keep working hard, keep going towards your dreams, and I will see you guys next time.